Hey, it's Lisa here. This week, I've been thinking about why I do what I do. So I get asked many times, and especially over the last three years, why am I so committed to Thought Leaders Business School? So while navigating a pandemic, why have I decided to dedicate so much time and effort to something that is outside of my practice, something completely separate from the work that I seem to have been put on this planet to do? Everyone at Thought Leaders turns up with something inside them. They have an urge or a desire or a change that they want to make happen in the world. This is one of the reasons it's such an extraordinary community. So a room, virtual or maybe even with real carpet full of people who are all up to something, who all have a glint in their eye, knowing that they've got the ability to change an industry, a vocation or a behaviour that might change people's lives is an amazing room to experience. So I'm no different to anyone else at Thought Leaders. I'm filled with the possibility to make a difference. Mine is to help people to lead magnificent lives and to run extraordinary businesses. And while I have held the position of CEO, which I like to think of as Chief Energy Officer, of Thought Leaders for the last two years, I still consider myself a student of Thought Leaders Business School. I'm still learning from the curriculum and learning from those around me. I'm still developing my IP. I'm still strengthening my conviction and I'm still refining my message for the world. So why would I put aside my desire to change the world through my practice to lead a team of amazing people that run programs that Thought Leaders offers? I do this because I get to be part of something much bigger than me. I get to witness people's lives changing. Last week, I got to watch one of the students at Thought Leaders Business School reach Black Belt. So over the past two years, we have had a high number, in fact, the highest number ever to reach Black Belt in a 12-month period. It is incredible watching people achieve this level of achievement. And this was no different. A person... Oh, bugger. Stop. But this student was different. A person that I met in May 2018 who I convinced to check out business school. Someone who I saw who had a fire in his belly and a desire to become more. He joined Thought Leaders in August that year as a white belt. He had everything he needed. He had desire, he had commitment and he was prepared to work. He was welcomed into the community with open arms. A good human who was hungry to learn. And learn he did. He turned up. He leant in. He was an incredible example of tenacity and grit. He chopped the wood. He built a fire. He stayed in the fire, even when it got hot. He stoked and fed the coals, and he created a constant heat that others started turning up for. He made people warm. The glow of what he has achieved is now visible. Four years later, everything has changed for him. He's a different man. He's got more conviction. He believes in his abilities and he has a community who see him. The way he is seen by others is beautiful. He told me in 2018 he wanted to make his family proud. On Friday, the 25th of March, his actual birthday, the day he'd been put on this planet, he made himself proud and he reached his goal. And that is why I will continue to give so much of my time, my energy and my life to Thought Leaders Business School. Because I get to sit in the privileged position of watching people change, of watching people grow, to watching people develop and transform themselves. And really, there isn't anything much better than that.